Thanks for staying with the Newsnet Southern California Life Morning News. I have here with me Mary Tortomasi. She is representing uh, Paris Skydive and Jump for the Cause 2009. Thanks for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Um, I know you are definitely doing something for a good cause, and we're going to have you back and talk to us all about that. But there's a lot that's going into this event. Jump for the Cause uh, is a breast cancer uh, uh, fundraiser. And tell us a little bit about it. Um, well, it started back in 1999. The uh, founder, her mother was Sherry Lewis, who is the puppeteer uh, with Lamb Chop, the little puppet. Nice. And Yeah, and she was a skydiver, and her mother, unfortunately, died of breast cancer. And that, they came up with this idea, you know, we should have a woman's, you know, record skydiving event. And then they thought, well, hey, why not try to also, you know, utilize that, you know, everybody's efforts and and raise money for this worthy cause. So yeah. that's how it was started, 1999. Um, it's, uh, there's a lot that goes into it, so it's not something you can just produce every year. Yeah. So it's been about every three years that they've uh, you know, organized the event. That lets time. you know right there that it takes a lot of preparation and a lot of effort. Now before we get into that, let's talk a little bit more about Paris Skydive. Uh, Tell us what your facilities are like there. Okay. Well, Paris Valley Skydiving is considered one of the world's largest drop zones. Uh, people come visit from every part of the world, and we can they consider it skydiving or the the uh, Disneyland Disneyland of mm -hmm. skydiving. Yeah. Now we're also the very first um, skydiving facility to have a vertical wind tunnel located right on property that simulates free fall. We use that as part of the training nice, um, in becoming nice. a skydiver. Yeah. So how did um, uh, Paris skydiving and jump for the cause kind of team up because there are a few other uh, you know skydiving places around here how did they choose you or how did you choose them or how did the dynamic work well I guess you know in order to produce a, an event this large with that many skydivers that many airplanes and having you need the space to do it um, Paris you know is the place for that but also um, Mallory Lewis which is Sherry's daughter and she's the one that I mentioned it was um, a skydiver as well her best friend is one of the drop zone owners. Her name's Melanie. And uh, so the two of them got together and it was like, that's where this came, you know, this idea came from. All right, so what is it? What, what will you guys be doing? Well, um, there are 180 of us that will be um, suiting up in all different bright colored suits and um, loading 12, or I'm sorry, 10 airplanes going up to 20,000 feet, jumping out and trying to build a formation um, we wear jumpsuits that have handles so that we can hold on to each other. But, and, then, and then consequently, we are all trying to raise money for the cause, and we've set a goal of $1 million. Um, wow. Yeah. Wow. Now, That's two, a lot. Two, so not only do you, are you raising money for the cause, but you have to raise money just to participate in the event. Right. So. There's, um, in 2005, we raised $500,000, half a million. And, and yes. The money comes from each girl's collective efforts in raising money uh, to participate. You know, it's a lot of money that goes into putting those airplanes up, mm -hmm. and we all have to look a certain way, wear a colored jumpsuit, be coordinated. Um, so yes, we we each have um, are required to raise a minimum of thirty five hundred dollars each. That's not cheap. <laughs> no, no, and you know, in this with with what's currently going on economically, it's very tough to approach people and ask them for money. Which is why you guys are putting on a great event August 29th called Dancing Under the Stars. So tell us about that. Yeah, Dancing Under the Stars. You know, obviously it's kind of like a play on words, uh, <laughs> Dancing with the Stars. But, you know, I thought something fun and unique and people from the community can come to the drop zone. Um, we have a beautiful pool area and bar, restaurant and bar called the Bomb Shelter. And so we decided let's do a poolside event. Okay, so it's under the stars. We're going to have a live jazz band, um, a beautiful, you know, fine dining Italian dinner, and and then we're also going to have, in addition to that, we'll have a wine tasting oh, nice. opportunity, nice. Um, and and a silent auction, raffle prizes, kind of a thing. Yeah. Our goal is to raise a million, and I'll tell you, um, at this point, we're running out of time, and um, everyone has pretty much met their minimum. So. The goal is a million dollars, okay. bottom line. That is the goal that has been set. But right. obviously, if we, we have hit, um, at this point, we're just about at a half a million. So we're just about Almost already there. exceeding our, our prior goal, which yeah. was 1990, or I'm sorry, 2005. 
Okay, sounds good. And I know that um, you have Aerial Pink Force. Uh -huh. Tell us about Aerial Pink Force. Is that your group that's helping raise the money? You know, there's a few of us participants that got together, and um, we decided collectively we could put together our efforts, and that's where Dancing Under the Stars came from. Aerial is um, a machine and tool company that provides the, they manufacture all of the gear for skydiving, all of the buckles and all that, yeah. and, um, and all the handles and everything. And uh, one of the, I approached the owner of the company and asked him, could you help in some way? And he produced these beautiful shirts, um, and obviously his logo is on the back. Are and people able to purchase them? Yes. They are? Yes. Okay. They're, they're basically $20. Can I turn around and show the back? Yeah, sure. Turn, turn and show us oh, the back. Yeah, I'll turn this way. And um, you can see the back aerial. Yeah, the very, very nice. So you guys <laughs> can get this at Dancing Under the Stars, and we're going to give you all the information. How can they support Aerial Pink Force and go to your event August 29th? Okay, um, you can go to skydiveparis.com, and there is um, in the calendar section there's information on Dancing Under the Stars. Also, if you go to jumpforthecause.com. There's a link to Dancing Under the Stars. I believe you have to click on announcements, mm -hmm. and you can buy your tickets online, or you can just show up. The event is, uh, begins at 7 p.m. and goes to about 11, 11 p.m. And um, it's only a $25 donation for the dinner and the entertainment. The wine tasting is an extra charge. Right, right. That sounds amazing. I definitely want to be there August 29th. 2009, obviously, this year, Dancing Under the Stars, and you can come out and support Aerial Pink Force and Paris Skydive. It's all for a great cause, and there are tons of incentives. I mean, they're giving away free um, skydiving for the uh, simulated skydiving. There's going to be food, drinks, entertainment, everything. So yes, yes. definitely check it out, and we appreciate you coming by. Thank you, Ferrari. All right. We appreciate you. <laughs> no problem. And we'll have more news for you right after this break.